The question is, how do I make sure the elevation on this section of the new deck is at the same elevation and level with that section of the deck? I can use a level, but that only tells me if it's level. It doesn't tell me if the elevation is the same, which of course is what you want. Well, I can probably do it with an expensive laser. The cheap ones don't show up enough or some type of surveyor's tool. I found this to be a remarkable solution for one guy working alone finding elevations. Let me show you how it's done. The first thing we do is mount the Zircon electronic water level to the exact height that we need. You can see the little joints on the right side, just to the right of the viewer window. That's the height we need. And this is simply done by installing the plate onto the joist and it can be slid up and down to get that exact spot. Next thing we do is fill the tube with water uh, using one of the uh, various attachments that comes to the hose so you can fill it with water. In this place, in this case, I'm going to use the, uh, the hose attachment. Just unclip, if it's clipped, the little water retainer and let it rip. And don't pull a Gary and uh, lose the washer right away. So I like to run it a little bit to get any air bubbles out. And you can tell it's filled when water is coming out of the top end of the level unit itself. But just keep, keep it running to get the bubbles out of it. There you go. I thought gets rid of them all. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to do this and film at the same time, but I haven't gotten rid of any air bubbles in the line. And I'll put the long working line tube right beside the water level and raise it. You can see the level of the water in there. And look for it in the viewer window of the leveling machine itself. And once it gets to the middle of the viewer window, you can just see it coming up in the window. Once it gets right to the middle, right there is when you turn on the on-off button and it will make a loud noise. I'll show you. That means it's exactly level. If you drop down, the noise goes away. And you can see that water level in there and when it'll come back on. Okay, you can see that it's exactly level with the markers, which are level to where we want. And you can also see that in the long tube, the water level is the same. So let's just move this long tube right over to where we want to measure. What I was just showing you is a series of beeps. You hear a series of beeps when you're real close. And when you raise or lower the working end, uh, when you hear the solid beep, the solid audible tone, that's when you're level. And it makes a little beep like that once in a while, just so you remember it's on. So let's go move it over here and see what's level. I need to know if this is level with the original point. And I'll start by, you can see what the level is in the tube right now, and this is the working end. I'm just gonna lower it, or raise it slowly to the top of this joist, which has a faceplate in front of it. I'm gonna, then you should start to hear the beeps when it gets close. See it right there, pretty good. There we are, level. Not level. Level. So somehow, by hook or crook, this just happens to be level with the other end by some miracle. So I'll take it. Anyhow, that's how the water level works with one person. <laughs>